Okay, go on deeper because I need them to be able to YouTube video fix them. We're going to be using the split ender today. Um, this is the old school version. Um, you guys knew a while ago, a few months ago. Damn, I want to say I got it probably back in like March maybe. But I'm just now finally using it. Um, so using split ender comes with number one, the split ender, a clip, and a coat. So, um, I already did the back, but I'm going to show you guys how I'm doing the front. So, here's my front. If you want to like actually clip them away and stuff like that um, with a cloth clip, you can always bring that too as well. And so then that way my back area is clipped away. So, what I'm going to do is section off maybe a third for my little clip going. So it is. Okay, and we're going to take our split ender right here on the knob. You want the arrow going the direction of the hair. So since my hair is going to, the ends of my hair is going to be that way, I'm going to turn it on pointing that way. Then I'm going to take a little hair at a time, close it under the clamp, and go down. And although I have trouble actually seeing the cutting, I can see it inside there that I do have hair coming off. So that's great because that way you can trim your ends or dust your ends, I would say it's more like it. supposed to do is not change your haircut at all just simply like if you have a shaved haircut I don't um, but if you do it's supposed to maintain it just take off your ends it's supposed to take um, sorry, let me just brush that part out a little bit it's supposed to take a quarter of an inch off everywhere I don't know if this might be too much hair There I am. I just did a length check right beforehand, and I was roughly at the four inch mark on my length check shirt. I'm kind of spreading it out right now so you guys can see where I'm at. Um, so yeah, I don't think it took off too much. And like I said, I didn't necessarily see so much hair here being taken away, but I do see it more inside. I'm taking it apart right now to see if I can show you. Yeah, you see the hair in there? Not the labeling, but the hair. They're just little dusties little dusties which is wonderful because I can probably do that in the front but with hair as short as mine I can't necessarily grab the back and dust it as well um I could but I don't know I just like the way they did it and I'll probably do um some dusting uh next month actually this was just to see how I like this um because I think I need a little more than what this was giving me um, just because it's been a whole year since, well, almost a year. Next month, um, November 1st, it will have been a full year since my last hair trim, uh, dusting, any kind of cutting on my hair. So, yeah. Um, I'll definitely be sure to tune you guys in for that. Oh, 
I think this is wonderful. Um, yeah, go ahead and get yours. Definitely recommend it. But um, if you're a regular trimmer or duster, that I think would be great. And I probably will become more regular now that I see that, um, you know, it's not an expensive amount. And then I can get the back and get it even. But like I said, I need a little more. Um, so I don't know if I'll keep going over it with split ender or, cause I think, no, I think I need a little more than dusting. Just, just a pinch more, like a slight, small trim. Um, cause it has been a whole year. And so, but overall I'm happy with my hair journey thus far. Um, as you guys can see, I don't have these little, like before I had like this much was full and then all down here was just stringy ends and that had a lot to do with my hair falling out when I was sick so I'm really excited and really happy and yeah so hopefully you know this next year we'll really get to see something so anyway uh don't forget to thumbs up comment and subscribe and I'll see you guys next time bye